Hi, I'm Griff and this is my mum Sarah. Today we're going to be taking a trip on the Alamo. We're going to combine my love of local history and his love of public transport to tell you a few things about the Alamein line in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne. Shall we go? Yes! The start of the Alamein line is Camberwell Station. It runs through the suburbs of Camberwell, Burwood and Ashburton where we live. You can get to it by catching the Lilydale or Belgrave line and changing at Camberwell Station. Campbell Station is located on Burke Road and you can catch the 72 train to Cotton Road or Melbourne University from here. The Alamein line originated as part of the Outer Circle line. The idea for this line was to bring freight in from Gippsland to Fairfield and then through the north of Melbourne to Spencer Street. What do we call Spencer Street Station now, Griff? Southern Cross. That's right. It originally stopped at Ashburton Station and people from Melbourne used to take day trips out to Ashburton on steam trains to enjoy the Ashburton Forest. But by the time the line opened in 1891, another more direct line to the south had already been built. So the Outer Circle Line became what we call a white elephant. Do you know what that means? No. A white elephant is a term used to describe something that is very expensive, useless but not easily disposed of like the Melbourne Star Ferris wheel or the desalination plant. The Outer Circle Line lasted only a few years before it was closed in 1898. But there was such a public outcry over it that it was quickly reopened, even though the trains were very irregular, never connected to any other lines, and very few people actually caught it. Oh look, here comes the train. Then in the 1920s, the Outer Circle Line was revitalised when the state government decided to electrify all the trains. This coincided with a widespread suburban development in this area. Okay. The first stop on the Alamein Line is Riversdale. It takes its name from Riversdale Road. You can catch the 70 train from here and go to Water Park or to the Waterfront City Docklands. This is the station you get off at if you are going to Campbellwell High School. Riversdale Station is distinguished by these very tall eucalyptus trees. What's the other interesting thing about Riversdale Station, Riff? It's near my street. The next station on the Alamein Line is Willison. Nothing much happens at Willison. I'm not sure why it's there. Did you know it is the fourth least used train station in Melbourne? The most least used station is Wattle Glen. On the Hurstbridge line. That's right. Williston Station was originally built by local landowners to service a golf course near here. Imagine being so rich you could get the government to build you a train station just so you can play golf. Do you think you could do that today? <gasps> Probably not. I really hope not. The next station is Hartwell. Hartwell's near Turak Road and there is a little playground and some shops right next to it. A bike trail runs the entire length of the old Outer Circle Line from Fairfield to Hughesdale. This section of the trail is called the Anniversary Trail. It was constructed in the 1990s along the disused sections of the Outer Circle Line. Do you know why it's called the Anniversary Trail? No. It was to mark the 150th anniversary of the founding of the colony of Victoria. What's the best thing about the Alamein line, Griff? Is that you can always get a seat. The next station is Burwood. This is where we get off to, to go to the Leo supermarket. There are lots of delicious things to buy there. You can catch the 75 tram on Turak Road to Central Pier Docklands and to Vermont South Shopping Centre. Do you think the Alamein Line is the shortest train line in Melbourne? No, I think that's the City Loop. You're right. I'm not sure when the Alamein Line station buildings were built, but probably in the 1940s when the original train line was duplicated. Here we are at Ashburton. As you can see, 
our station design has been inspired by 1970s toilet blocks. A lot of effort has been made to retain the original trees that stood here from the time of the Ashburton Forest. At Ashburn Station, you can get the 734 bus to Glen Iris or to Glen Waverley. If it's really cold, you can just jump on the train to Alamein and keep warm until it turns around to go back to Camberwell. The next station is Alamein. This train will terminate at Alamein. Alamein Station was added to the original Outer Circle Line track in 1948 to service the Housing Commission estate built here. It was named after the famous battle of El Alamein in North Africa in the Second World War. We hope you guys had fun watching us go on the Alamein line today. It was a lot of fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Turn on notifications so you won't miss when our next video is. Thank you for watching. All Goodbye. Right, let's get out of here. It's freezing. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. You wouldn't think it's the middle of summer, would you? Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.